guys, this is Shadow Kirby 707, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. And I am currently on Mother and Child Island because in this episode, well, wrong menu, we are going to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue our sister. Try number two. <laughs> so hopefully we can rescue a real hello. I forgot about you. I think I got you already. Nope, I didn't. Good. Good thing I stopped by this island. So yeah, I did go to Mother and Child. Off screen. And cool, it's morning because I actually do want to show something once we get there. So anyways, um, yeah, in this part, we are finally gonna go to Forsaken Fortress to rescue a rail. So anyways, uh, the wind is blowing northwest, which we are going to go. I would go and explore this island, but I think I'll save that for later because I really want to focus on going to the Forsaken Fortress. So, yeah. And is that a very island up there? Or is that this one right here, maybe? No, it's probably the southwest one. Yeah, it's probably Fairy Island, so yeah. But anyways, yeah, we are going to the Forsaken Fortress. And there are a bunch of cannon ships just trying to protect this place. And not to mention bomb barrels. So you do have to watch out for, well, barrels and explosives and cannon ships. So yeah, obviously this place is being protected because of reasons. So yeah, there's a bunch of bomb barrels, so you do kind of want to veer to any direction just to avoid the explosion. And also, once we get near to the Forsaken Fortress, um, right now it's daytime, which is perfect time because there is actually something I want to show off. If you do try to come to the Forsaken Fortress during the daytime, and believe me, uh, everyone try this, but there's a reason why this happens. So anyways, as we go near the Forsaken Fortress, you will notice that once we get near the Forsaken Fortress during the day, um, if it will load up, <laughs> you see spotlight during the day. But if we try to go near it, yeah, it immediately turns nighttime. And I believe if I try to change it to the daytime, I think it won't work. Kind of like what happened to the Curse C segment. Yep. An evil power seems to block the effects of the music you conducted, so it's kind of like the Curse D segment. So, unfortunately, this area seems to be cursed in a way. I mean, there's a reason why, <laughs> which we will probably see in this episode, hopefully. But, yeah. But anyways, uh, do not worry about the spotlight spotting you, because we are now more powerful to pretty much bust through this place. So yeah, and you don't need to bomb all the cans. All you need to do is find the entrance and bomb it. <laughs> so we got plenty of bomb. You can bomb this, and there we go. A couple of shots, and then you're in. So there we are. We're infiltrating the Forsaken Fortress, and this time we're gonna be more stealthy. Well, kind of. Ganon has likely been made aware by a little incursion already, but you have the Master Sword. That sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands. None can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. I'm not af afraid. <laughs> I say that as shots are being fired. But anyways, we are back in the Forsy Fortress. Um, a little bit different from this time around. This time we don't have Tetra, you know, telling us what to do. So we have our own free will to really explore. And don't worry about being caught in the spotlight. Because if we go near this door, we have ourselves a battle. Anyway guys, say hello to Phantom Ganon. If you guys are familiar with the fight of the Forest Temple boss in Ocarina of Time, this should seem rather familiar. All you gotta do is play tennis with Phantom Ganon until he gets struck, and then once he does get struck, you do want to attack him. And I completely missed, but I did get some decent hits. And yeah, don't worry about the... Oh, oh I could have had it right there. Anyway, don't worry about the spotlight spotting you. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Gotcha, Phantom Ganon. Yeah. So yeah, um, Phantom Ganon, he's not really much uh, a threat to be worried about. He's actually quite easy to defeat. So all you gotta do is just deflect his powers back at him, and wow, two rounds of hitting him, and he's done. You're a post shoulder, Phantom Ganon, is all you got. Anyway, Phantom Ganon is unfortunately not defeated, but he does disappear. 
I have a feeling we'll be seeing him again. Anyways, after defeating Phantom Ganon, the doors will unlock. Not only that, but we get a spiky treasure chest. And this, uh, we got spotted. Insert Metal Gear Solid noise. Anyways, if we do go and collect our prize, we get a fabulous item, which is... The Skull Hammer. So the XYZ, this mighty hammer can break things and pound obstacles into the ground. Some enemies even get stunned by the shockwave it causes when you pound the ground with it. The Skull Hammer, this is one of the items that we actually do need to go to the fairy island. It's actually very powerful. It is actually quite a fine item, I will admit. Yeah, we have mini blends. But the mini blends, um, or not the mini blends, but the skull hammer, you can squash, you know, enemies, at least that are weak to you. But there's one more thing you can do with the skull hammer, if I can show it off. Um, I want to show it off real quick. No, I want to show it off. No, I want to show it off. You can actually swing it like a baseball bat. I love that, especially with the mini blood. I love that. It's amazing. So yeah, um, with the skull hammer you can actually bash those uh, pedestals. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys are gonna follow me. Hey, you wanna be bad? No, I wanna do it! Whee! <laughs> I love that. I love that. That is purely amazing. Um, you could technically take care of the spotlight, but there's one in Pacific that we want to take care of, which is up here. That one we kind of, well, not really, you don't have to, but it's kind of recommended to, but, uh, yeah, I think I might want to take care of that spotlight first. But pretty much, uh, we're back in the Forsaken Fortress. It, holy crap, you're really going really fast. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we're back in the Forsaken Fortress. Pretty much everything is kind of in the way the same. If you didn't collect that harpy that we got, the first one, um, you can't collect it again. And I missed this treasure chest for some reason, huh? It's probably nothing, it's probably just money, and I could have collected that joy pin from that guy, but oh well. Wait, is this a compass or a map that I forgot the first time around? <laughs> it was a compass I forgot, but who cares? I mean, there's nothing important in this uh, Forsaken Fortress, so we're just gonna stroll through this place and yeah, pretty much it. So yeah, pretty much everything is still the same. They've changed some obstacles in this place, but not really much of a difference. But yeah, um, I do want to take care of the spotlight. I don't know, you don't really have to, but I'm going to do it anyways because uh, um, getting through that wall will be difficult. If I Am I on the wrong section? Right section? No, I'm not. Or maybe I am. Look, actually... Yes, I am. <laughs> it's right here. Alright, I want to get my uh, gravity hook real quick because I do want to take care of this guy's uh, joy pendant. I want it. Come here, sir. Can I actually hit you with a skull hammer? No! Ow! Dang it. You know what? You're being squashed, or rather hit. Can I? I want to. Dang it. <laughs> I wanted to swing like a baseball bat at him. But yeah, that takes care of that important spotlight. You don't really have to. There is another um, quick way to get through that. It's by just changing the wind direction to use the deck of leaf. But I might as well um, just take care of that spotlight. But since we have this Master Sword now and we're completely filled with weapons, we can pretty much pummel through this place. So no troubles at all sneaking around. And yeah, we do have um, pretty much bomb rest down there. Yeah, bomb shoes. And also, they did get rid of the ropes that you're supposed to swing by, but uh, we can use the deck of leaves, so it's really no challenge at all, to be honest. Oh, those statues right there that you see right on top right there, those can actually zap you, or at least come alive. And it's kind of freaky, actually. So if they do spot you, they can't actually shoot lasers at you. <laughs> and it's quite a surprise. And oh, we're in back in this room. Hey guys, remember this segment that pretty much a lot of people give a hard time on? Well, since we have the magic sword and we're pretty much well equipped with random items, we can take care of these monsters. So these guys are a joke now. Oh, haha, -ha, I'm just gonna leave because I just wanted that skull necklace. Alright, so, yeah, I'm just gonna pummel through this place like it's nothing, and I probably do want my... Actually, I probably do need my skull... Not skull necklace, and my skull hammer, because I am going to do something in a moment. 
And we have a bunch of mini blends. Oh, joy! <laughs> I don't like these mini blends. Just run away from them. Run away. Alright, um, I do need my Little Waker real quick because I wanna get this area done quick. Oh my god, you guys landed right in front of me. I don't like these guys. These guys are creepy as hell. You wanna be batted? Or squashed? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh leave me alone. Go away. I just wanna get through this place. Alright, hopefully they don't come from the wall, because that'll be kind of freaky. Because they can climb on walls, and it's kind of weird and freaky at the same time if they try to chase you down. But I'm just going to stall along this wall, because I think we're safe. Hopefully. Hopefully. No surprise, please. Alright, uh, we do have magic here, and I think we're safe, because those mini blizzards are not chasing us anymore. Hopefully. I don't want to hear any na 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 na, -na sounds. Alright, so... Anyways, let's just settle against this wall. Alright, come on, Link, come on. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god! You just came out of nowhere! Oh, please don't get me! Please, please! Oh my god! He came out of nowhere! I knew someone's gonna pull that trick on me. Oh, you stupid mini blends. I don't like them. I don't like them. Even though they're a simple enemy to defeat, I just don't like them. They're annoying and freaky. But anyway, no mini or mid boss through this segment uh, section. All we can do is just hit that switch and get in our way. And hopefully that bird doesn't attack us again. Hopefully not. All right, Link. This time, be more careful. So far, so good. Just, just be quiet. Be very stealthy. Be very stealthy. <laughs> I don't like Link's expression. He's like. Don't let that bird attack me. Don't let that bird attack me. But we're good. And we are reunited with Ariel again. Big brother. You're okay. I was worried. Yeah, Link, you got to unlock the door. But it is locked. Hi. The cell won't open that easily. Hey, Tetra! What are you doing here following me, huh? There you go, acting before you think, as usual. Oh, she's helping us, yay! I swear, do you even realize that we had to draw that monster bird off for you? It was about to come flying in here after you again. Oh. It seems that Tetra catches the interest with our sword. And why is it shaking all of a sudden? That's kind of weird. That sword! Where did you get that? Are you? Is it even possible? How could it be? Wait, what are you talking about? Hmm, well, never mind about that. For now, we'll just take these girls. I'm sure their fathers back in town will pay a handsome reward for their return. Oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> We finally reunited with her! Aww! So sweet. I'm so sorry to interrupt such a heartwarming reunion. But, isn't there still something that you need to take care of? Uh, unfortunately, yes. If you're worried about your sister, don't be. I promise I'll deliver her safely back to your little island. Normally, I expect a huge reward for something like this, but this time, it's my treat. Listen, Ariel, your brother still has something to take care of. Big, important, grown-up things. He'll be back soon, so just wait nice and quiet until he returns, okay? But, big brother... Miss Tetra, we have to hurry. The bird will be here any second. Gonzo, excellent. You're just in time. Take this one for me. Huh? But she's... She's fine. Just do as you're told. Oh. Oh, she means business. Oh, how nice of Tetra. Big brother! Oh, poor Link. Bye, Tetra. Bye, Aril. Link, we'll be back. I swear it. Oh, okay, Tetra. Wink, wink. But anyway, the bird's passing by. I think we should escape from here and avoid the bird. Or not. Yeah, fortunately, the door closes on us. 
And we are going to drown. Well, shoot. And here is the big bad bird himself. Oh boy. Finally, we're face to face yet again. This time he won't catch us, up, catch us up again. Instead, we're just gonna make our escape! <laughs> Time dive in a way. So all you do in this section, you just want to avoid the bird. He will peck at the floorboard that you're underneath, and that will make you fall. And if you do fall, there are um, grapple areas where you can use the grapple hook against. And don't worry about the vocal balloons, just keep on rolling! And yes, he will try to get rid of the platform that you're on, but just keep on running. So yeah, if you do fall, do not worry, because you can actually use the grappling hook to get back. And he won't really attack you if you fall behind, so you'll be fine. And yeah, don't worry about the bulk of blues. Oh my gosh. So yeah, all, you do, all you gotta do is just pretty much just run. That's all you do. Alright, so if we make it all the way to the top, the Home Rock King will block our way, but just hammer his face! Smash his face with an iron! Alright, so that gets rid of that giant bird, aka the name is Helmerock King, if you guys didn't know about that. Anyways, we make it to the top, and yay, we're home safe! Well, home free. But why is this area filled with spikes? Well, it won't be that easy to get away from the bird because he is still alive. And he is more than mad than ever. Oh boy, jeez. And yeah, we're in a battle with the Humrock King. So pretty much, you can't really do much in this battle. All you gotta do is just wait for the Humrock King to land. And once he does land, you wanna have your skull hammer ready. And let him peck at you and hammer his face! Unfortunately, you can't do it twice. You have to kind of wait. Oh, he's giving me another try to hit him. Nice! Well, this makes this battle a lot more quicker, so that's good. Now, there's a funny thing in this battle. He can actually run into this wall and won't get hurt. It's kind of like a little comedic thing in this battle, but it's funny to see if I can show it off. And if he doesn't show off, that's okay. But, okay. Come on, pack at me, bro. Oh, you're trying to stomp on me. Okay. Okay, come on. Yes! Alright, damn, smash his face with an iron! Alright, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I kind of hope that he does show that off because it's actually kind of funny to see. Um, he's gonna show it off. Yes. <laughs> he ran into the wall. That was quite funny. I love that. Thank you for showing that off for me, Hamaraki. Thank you. Oh, he's doing it again. <laughs> he does run into the wall twice. He ran into it twice. That is hilarious. I love this guy. He's so funny. Alright, is he gonna do it again? Yes, he is! Okay, stop! <laughs> Here he does in a row! <laughs> Alright, are you gonna come here and attack me or not? Nah, what, what the heck am I saying? Not. Uh, he's gonna do it again! And, okay, this time he missed, okay. No fourth time to charm, but I do want you to come down here and attack me, sir. Please. I'm like waiting for you to land. Alright, he's gonna hit and hammer his face! And since we got rid of his armor, now we can attack him. And I swing at him! <laughs> swing at him! I wonder if the skull hammer does more damage than the massive star, but I'm going to hammer him. I'm just gonna use the hammer all the way through. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna use the hammer. I'm not gonna use the sword. <laughs> yes! No sword run in this boss fight. Well. You kind of do have to use a sword at some point in the game. But yeah, that boss battle is done without using the sword. That is amazing. Anyways, with that, light is shining on Pawn the Helmet King, and he explodes. And we get our heart container! Awesome! And the gates are open. Anyways, by defeating the Helmet King, we get another heart container! Which means we got 15! Yeah, 15! Awesome! Halfway, or we're almost done with our heart containers, guys. We're almost done. It's almost filled. I'm so happy. Anyways, guys, in the next part, yes, I ain't going to stop it here because it's going to be a long episode. But in the next part, we will see what's up here. And be 
the shadow of the fortress. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys then. So, this is Shadow Kirby 707 saying.